Hi, so this video is actually about uh, body dysmorphic disorder and the reason I'm talking about this is because um, they've actually made some discovery with um, how the eyes behave in this which um, was quite interesting and it was something I'd been you know thinking in the back of my mind for several years now um, so what they've discovered with it well first body dysmorphic disorder uh, for those who don't know is when people um, feel maybe they feel that their nose is big and they've got a perfectly normal shaped nose but that is not how they see it and it leads to them like avoiding social situations and never going out so it so it's people who um you know see a negative image of themselves um which doesn't match up with what they actually look like and it has a severe impact on their lives um so what they found out um, was that people with this disorder have problems with their eye tracking um, and in, in two ways. So they will focus, they will over focus on a particular feature. And this is something that's been discovered with people with anorexia, uh, anorexia as well, um, which I'll come back to. Um, but they, they have an over-focus, so maybe they think their nose is big, they look in the mirror. They are only seeing the nose and not the rest of the face so it looks all distorted um, and the other thing they have problems with because of the eye tracking um, is recognizing facial expressions and I'll come back to that but I'm going to return to the point with anorexia as well now not everyone with anorexia sees a distorted image of themselves. There, there are anorexics who do see um, a skinny person when, when they look in the mirror. Um, so anorexia is about, um, you know, fear of, it, it's a fear of eating. Um, it may be to do with putting on weight. Um, but basically it is an anxiety disorder based around eating but you know there's this stereotype that a thin person will see a big fat person in the mirror um, and that is true for many but it's not true for, for all um, but for those who do see a distorted image, it works in the same way. So they will, you know, see a particular part of their body. Um, so maybe they'll see, I know, fat, fat, fat arms. They will only see, um, the, you know, a fat arm in the mirror perhaps and um, not what the the rest of their body looks like as a whole. So I'm just mentioning that um, in, in the same vein as body dysmorphic disorder um, because it seems to be the same sort of eye issue here. Um, so this is something I'd certainly with body dysmorphic disorder that I'd suspected for a while because you know people have res 
um, reported, you know, what they see, and it's a distorted image. So it does seem to be um, a very visual problem. Um, and added to that, it's not just their face that is usually the face, but I mean it's called body dysmorphic disorder, so it could be the whole body. Um, but they see it with other people, not, not just themselves as well, by the looks of it. Now with the facial expressions... Um, that is something that is on the Asperger's autism um, spectrum as well. Whether someone with body dysmorphic disorder has, you know, any sort of autism, uh, they may or may not, um, you know, or they may have a bit of both, um, you know, whatever. But I actually did um, a video about um, how autistic people see faces and the difficulty recognising facial expressions. And um, I mean, I had a bit of this as well. Not um, It wasn't any sort of body dysmorphic disorder. I didn't sort of think I was ugly or anything like that but it was just looking at faces generally um, you know I could only really see one feature because of of an over focus and this is what these people are doing they're over focusing um, in my case I was over focusing because I'm long sighted so I was putting a lot of effort into trying to see the most important feature in the face that I needed to see and as a result not being able to read the whole face particularly well. Um, so, I mean, it's just a thought that... Um, and I'm particularly fond of plus lenses. You know, I think they can sort of help with a lot of things, but I'm not just saying it because because of that. It is just an idea whether, um, you know, for these people with this condition, because it is really, really distressing by the sounds of it, you know, it impacts on these people's everyday lives and it stops them from, you know, having a normal life and achieving normal things. Um, so whether a pair of plus lenses would actually damp down the overfocus a bit, um, you know, even if it made things less clear to see, I don't, I don't know, but, you know, if the person was actually a bit long-sighted with it, um, it might actually calm things down a bit there, and it wouldn't hurt to, to actually try out, um, you know, a mild pair of pluses, that will certainly not hurt at all. Um, you know, you can go into a bookshop or, you know, whatever, and just pick up, say, a pair of plus, plus one readers. Just try them. See if it calms things down any. Um, and if it does, that may be something worth following up. But, um, yeah, that interested me. Um, and that is kind of my idea so I hope you found this useful and uh, look forward to you watching my next video